welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so you guys this is the second installment of my healthy hair care series so as you guys can see i am rocking a new do we finally 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 got rid of those mini twists and i will show y'all throughout this video um myself taking down my mini twists and everything so yes i kept my mini twists in for about five weeks i wasn't planning on going that long but i had you know things happen at work where i felt like rocking those twists would be the best outcome for me um, and when I took them down, it was very easy. I didn't have a whole lot of matting and tangling. I did have a lot of shed hair, but like there was literally no ripping out of my hair. I didn't have a whole lot of knots or anything like that. So I was grateful for that. I used a lot of detangler. I finger detangle and then I also use my detangling brush that I showed you guys in my, um, what was it? My favorites video. Yeah, I think it was my favorites video. So yeah um i got a new hairstyle i did get my hair done today so i am rocking some large knotless braids and these i will probably keep in for about six weeks i'm not even gonna lie y'all i might take these longer than i did my mini twist because i feel like this is that type of hairstyle where you can rock it out a little bit longer than other styles um even though they're large um i definitely feel that way so yeah, I'm really excited about these. I really like them. Um, she curled the ends as well. So I'm going to have to get me some, um, what you call it? What do you call those things? Foam rollers to make sure I keep the curl on the end when I go to work and when I wear these braids to work. But I'm really excited for them. Really happy about them. Love the way that they look. They are very, very, very neat. Let me show you guys. Let me turn all the way around. They are very 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 neat so i am loving them as of right now um so yeah i'm gonna walk you guys through me taking my twist down i'm gonna show you guys that i did a protein treatment on my hair and then um i showed a little bit of myself at the salon like i was literally just in the wash bowl i didn't do a whole lot of filming while i was there because girl we be chatting it up in there we be talking about any and everything under the sun so i didn't do a whole lot of filming while I actually got my hair done. But I really just wanted you guys to see kind of like the takedown process and how meticulous I was with taking down the twist. And then I showed the products that I use and that's about it. And the same way how I took care of my hair with my mini twist is the same way that I'm gonna take care of my hair with these knotless braids. So I am gonna be oiling and greasing my scalp. I am gonna be spraying the length of the actual hair, even though my hair is intertwined into the actual braid, I will be spraying the length of the braid or at least the length of my hair with water and putting some leave-in conditioner on them um, to keep them neat, I'm definitely going to tie them down. I will put mousse on them just to lay down um, my hair when it starts to get a little bit frizzy and things like that. Just going to try and keep them laid and slayed so that I can rock out with them for the six weeks that I plan on keeping them in. But I definitely will take care of my hair inside of these braids, take care of my scalp. You don't want to neglect your hair and your scalp while it's in a protective style. Just because it's in a protective style does not mean that you should, you know, not still rehydrate your hair, rehydrate your scalp and things like that. You definitely want to take care of those because your hair is going to grow while it's in the protective style and you want to make sure that you are retaining the length that you're getting. So that is pretty much it you guys we got new hair we rocking it out and i'm super excited i'm actually really really excited for my next hairstyle i already talked to her my hairstyle is about what my next hairstyle is gonna be and that one that one might be the one that i like definitely get more than once at least all the way until the summer. I might keep that hairstyle and keep going back to her to get it redone all the way up until the summer because I really like the way that that hairstyle looks and I think it's just going to be like super flattering on me. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the large knotless braids and then let's get into the rest of the video. All right, y'all. So that is the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy. And I'm literally finding a twist and I am putting a good amount of that detangler onto the twist, like running it through the whole length of the twist. And y'all, this is literally on Friday after work, okay? So after I run that detangler on the length of my twist, I find out where 
I can um, find like a little spacing in between the twist and I put my fingernails through it and then I start to unravel it. And because it's been so long, you know, my hair has kind of like, um, I don't know, like stuck together. So it's not as easy to unravel the twist because of course I have shed hair that's mixed in with it. So I have to kind of like finger detangle as I go. And you see me putting on some more detangler and I'm like slowly trying to get those knots out and like pull them apart. Cause that's literally like shed hair. It's not even really my hair is tangled. It's like shed hair. And you see me finger detangling first and then I'm gonna go through with my detangling brush and like comb it out from the roots all the way down. And literally perfect. I didn't lose that much hair at all taking down these twists. All right, y'all, so it is the next day, the next morning, actually. Um, I knew I wasn't going to wash my hair last night, so I just pineappled it um, and put it inside of my bonnet, and I just took it down, and this is what it's looking like. I still have that detangler product in it, so it kind of made my hair look like this, but today I'm ready to wash it, and I'm going to start with my favorite shampoo. This is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength fortifying shampoo i've been using this for a while now and i just really like how this shampoo makes my hair feel it doesn't like strip it completely and i don't know it doesn't tangle my hair i feel like a lot of shampoos tangle my hair because it's so fine and it's prone to tangling already i need a shampoo that is not gonna do that so um this is what i'm gonna be using to actually cleanse my scalp and my hair and then i'm gonna be doing my protein treatment i was gonna let my stylist do my protein treatment but yeah her protein treatments are 30 dollars, and i was like <clears throat> Nah, I got the products here at home to do it myself. By the way, y'all, this is a little pimple patch that I have. But yeah, I was like, nah, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it myself. So I do have my um, Afoji or Afoji protein treatment. So, you know, you shampoo your hair, you detangle it, make sure it's all sectioned out, and then you go ahead and put this product on. So this is very liquidy. It's literally like water. You put this on and then um, you comb it through your hair. And as it starts to dry, it hardens, but you're supposed to sit under a hair dryer, like a hooded hair dryer, and just let it do its thing. And when I tell y'all <laughs> my hair be cooked, it be like ramen noodles. It be so hard and crunchy, but that's how you know that it's working. So I sit under the hair dryer. Um, let this do its thing and then I get in the shower rinse it all out um, rinse it twice actually and then I go in with the actual balancing moisturizer this is a thicker like conditioning product and it has some good slippage and everything so I make sure I rake through my hair once again make sure everything is detangled and then I'll go in with my actual conditioner which I thought I had some but my kids have used it all y'all know I use the suave conditioner in the white bottle the coconut one it gives so much slip and it just makes my hair feel super super soft and it makes it smell good as well so that's like the last thing that I do for um after my protein treatment I make sure to put that um, conditioner in and then that'll be it and I'll get out of the shower and I will resection off my hair and just go from there I don't know if this weekend I want to wear a wash and go or if I just want to go ahead and pull my hair back in a bun because like I said my hair appointment is on Tuesday so I just need to get through the weekend and then go to my hair appointment on Tuesday but this is what the hair is looking like I did not have that much um shed hair I mean I had I feel like I had enough for like five weeks of me not doing anything to my hair so the ball was like this big it wasn't it wasn't a lot at all but I'm probably gonna have some more shed hair come out when I'm in the shower because I made sure to detangle but y'all know how that be so yeah I'm gonna go I'm gonna wash my hair I might show y'all me sitting under my um hooded dryer and then I sit and then after my wash day y'all already know the next clip is gonna be me going to get my hair done I can't wait can't wait for these uh I'm not gonna tell y'all y'all just gonna have to see it guys so that's it for this video um i hope y'all enjoyed seeing it i hope y'all are enjoying this healthy hair chat series of course i am still taking my multivitamins every day i'm still taking my hair vitamins every day and i'm still taking my iron pills every single day and even my stylist was like when she was blowing out my hair she was like i can see that your hair is definitely healthy it's strengthened i can see you're taking care of it so that's always a good thing so yeah just make sure y'all stand up on your 
y'all routine. Just make sure y'all stand up on y'all healthy hair game. Do not give up. It's not as frustrating and it's not as hard as it may seem. Definitely, definitely, definitely take care of your hair. And if you guys have any like of your favorite protective styles that you do or that you've had done, definitely leave them down in the comment section below because I really am going to be experimenting with my protective styles. Like I said, I cannot wait for y'all to see my next hairstyle. I'm super duper duper excited about it. I can't wait to get it. Like I was wishing that I had got that hairstyle instead of this one because I was like... I would have rocked the hell out that hairstyle, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm definitely going to rock it when it's time for me to get my hair done. And I really appreciate my stylist because her prices are not outrageous, okay? Her prices are perfect for me, okay? This hairstyle was $100, which I know some people might scoff at that. Some people might be like, hell no, like $100, I can do that at home. I can do that myself, but I can't, baby. I don't know how to braid. I don't know how to... I don't know how to do anything, okay? I don't fool with my hair. I would never be able to get my parts this straight, this like crisp. I would never be able to do that. I would never have the patience. So that $100 for her labor and her patience and her work is worth it to me. And then of course I tipped her really good on top of that. So this was definitely worth it for me. But yeah, that's everything for this video, you guys. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you'll be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.